Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug, and this is a Baseball Brat Bed Adventure. Out now on itch for a price of $7. It is a 2D platforming, side-scrolling bit of a business. A genre I've been waiting for more of here on this platform. So, there are 20 stages for now, and each stage has three goals. Number one, finish the stage. Number two, get the coins, and number three, open the chest. My only complaint thus far is that when you do all three things, the stage is just the doors closed. I can't go back into that stage. So my concern is that when you finish three stars on all 20 stages, then the game's just done, and you gotta go back and get rid of your save file to start over. It's just not a great solution for me anyway. Right now, I've done that all on stage one. Let's go show you stage two in Rookie World in this game. Now, we have jump and we have a throw and or a bat when we collect that power up. So again, we want eight coins, we want the chest, and we want to do it all in one run without losing all three of our lives. So two and the zero there, you can see under the lives. And if those are empty, then you are done. But otherwise, a pretty standard side-scrolling, there's the chest, I don't have the key yet, a pretty standard side-scrolling platforming video game on the play day, and a genre I am quite fond of, so I am very excited to see it here on this platform. Need more of these, please, please. But in the meanwhile, uh, right there, the question block gives me a baseball, again, baseball brat. So slimes here, two balls, and they're out. But otherwise, the checkpoints will get you to hay an extra life on your life meter, but also if you die, you're back to where that checkpoint is. And you, when you find the door, the door is the exit. But we know where the chest is, right? So can I get back to where I was? Yes, all right. And I screwed it up, no, yes, no, yes, okay. All right, we're good. So there is some, there's the key. There is some trial and error here to find where potential hidden areas are and then hopefully not die when finding them. So now we're gonna head back and hopefully head back properly to find the chest and use the key and not get hit by the slime if at all possible. So there it is, we got the trophy and now we just need uh, three more coins. We're at five, we need six, seven, and oh god, man, look. I have the trophy. There's a coin under this business. So let's do this. Let's hop over here, get this coin here. We're at six coins now. We need two more coins. I'm hoping they're in the proper direction of this way. I have two more hits to take here before I die. So being very cautious, there's one coin. And there's two coins, and now all we need is the exit door, and that stage is now complete. Three stars. But that means I can't ever go back into it, uh, because these buttons don't do anything. So I just kind of, I can hit up and it's not going to do anything. So, now you will see the numbers here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A. And you're like, okay, what does the A mean? The A stands for auto-scrolling level. That's right, just like in Mario 3, we're here to auto-scroll, get the bat, and then deal with this bird who wants to murder us, and that ain't good for us. So these platforms, much like in the Donut Plains, they're gonna fall if you sit on them for too long, so it is a matter of timing. And now we want the key, and the coin, and maybe, just maybe, I'll make it through here and get all three stars and it never have to play this stage again, because that'd be nice. Um, not a fan of dying repeatedly. So the problem that you'll find here on this stage in particular is that if you die once, it's just going to keep on making you die. And so you, you essentially get one shot at this stage without falling. If you fall, you're just kind of boned on that from prior experience. Perhaps that's not... That's not Int intentional, but for me, that is the problem. Now, it does play a bit of a little jingle there when you get the eighth coin. So you know, all right, I have all eight without looking at the actual 
thing there that says eight coins. So now we've done the auto scrolling stage and never again, which brings us to Spooky World. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, B. So maybe the A does not stand for auto scroll. I just assumed it did. But is the B stand for boss? I don't know. I'm not there yet. Let's hop in here to stage two of Spooky World, shall we? First and foremost, we get the Baseball Bat, which has a spinning attack. But also, when you do it, you can kind of float a little bit on the way down. So I appreciate that in terms of the platforming mechanics. Well, that didn't work. I didn't make it. All right, so is it just having to? Yeah, all right. See? See, man? Look. Using the tools at your disposal. I love it. That is so smart. That is oh god. That is so good And I appreciate the attention to detail on that the ghosts will hunt you They will hunt you down and They will only kind of do it in a certain area. So it's not like a boo right only in their predetermined area do the ghosts hunt you down So that's good because otherwise you way too hard way too hard to deal with constantly hunting you from the ghost. So clearly I'm not gonna get all the coins here in this stage, but it's kind of whatever. Again, I can play it again later and come back to it and that's cool. So there it is. We did it. Spooky world, level complete. We got one. We didn't get the chest or all of the eight coins. Anyhow, this is Baseball Brat Bad Adventure on the play date on Itch out now. Seven bucks. Link in the description. I will see you next time right here on this channel for more videos. And I'm out.